In this video, I'd like to talk about how to use a subassembly which contain a motion limit in top level assemblies and have different motion limits in each. In my linear bearing subassembly, I have a, a block that can go from 0 to 500 millimeters. It happened to be minus, but there's still 500 millimeters as you can see from the motion limits, the joint limits, 500. So we place this into two assemblies as a linked file. It can move from 0 to 500. And 1 and number 2, again a linked file, 0 to 500. Now if I go back to the top, the subassembly, and change the limits here to only go half the distance, which would be minus 250 in this case, Again, you see it only goes to 250. If I save this, because it's a linked file in the assemblies, it'll require an update. And as you can see, it goes from 0 to 250 in both of them after being updated. The problem is, though, you cannot change one to be from 0 to 250 and one from 0 to 500. They must be the same because they're linked files. So what I want to show you is the proper method to get this linear stroke to be different in each two different sub-assemblies or more. I've opened up two other assemblies where the bearing sub-assembly has been derived into it instead of being linked using the derive command insert derive. So with these, they also are right now because the original subassembly was 0 to 250. These are following it because they're still linked 0 to 250 as you can see. But what we can do is start with the first one. We can right click on the derive component and break the link. Now you say well that knocks it off from being updated from the assembly. Well, by this time, the subassembly is correct. You just want to change the stroke. So once we've broken that uh, link, we're going to go to the limits and we're going to change this back to minus 500. 500, not 550. And say OK. And so you can see this one goes from 0 to 500. Let's go to the next assembly and again break the link. Let's make this one very unique. Let's go to from 500 to minus 250. So in the joints we edit the joint limits. We took the top one at minus 500 and the next one to minus 250. And so you can see it goes this way to the center, where the other one goes from all the way down. So we have two assemblies where the same subassembly can be at different values for as far as the limits of the motion. Of course, it's not linked to the subassembly anymore, but it still gives you the option of making different motions in the, using the same subassembly. I hope this does help you make better Fusion 360 models.